is up my people philly filmer here tonight's episode the pulse we're going to be talking about gravity now before i begin i can see the community has already got their shovel out and really dug into this one um, it's just hilarious at this point i mean they're re it's it's such a reactionary relationship at this point for them where we're calling the shots we're we're calling their their bs and they react to it <clears throat> more fake photos more bs discoveries <clears throat> gravitational waves everybody <laughs> but uh all right so I'm getting some articles, CNN. Gravitational waves detected. Proving Einstein right again. Just 100 years after he published a general theory of relativity, scientists have found what Albert Einstein predicted as part of theory. We have detected gravitational waves. We did it, said David Wrights, executive director of LIGO, the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory, which was created to do just what Wrights announced. Wrights made the announcement Thursday at the National Press Club in Washington, surrounded by other LIGO researchers, National Space Foundation head France Cardova. Gravitational waves, ripples in space-time, were created by the merging of two black holes, Wright said. One black hole had the mass of 29 suns. The other was equivalent of 36 suns. Each was perhaps 50 kilometer miles in diameter. Years ago, LIGO estimates about 1.3 billion. The two collided at half the speed of light. Gravitational waves passed through everything, so the result traveled through the universe for that time before Earth. Now I'm going to stop right there. The article goes down about the black holes colliding and so on and so forth. Well, Mars advertisements too. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so they're claiming that it happened more than a billion years ago. Two black holes collided at half the speed of light now. That's really amazing guys really we're learning a lot here okay second article wired.com astrophysicists may have found gravitational waves or not that earlier rumor was something Krauss tweeted back my earlier rumor about LIGO has been confirmed by independent sources stay tuned gravitational waves may have been discovered so they're tweeting about it before they even confirmed it. Very scientific of them. I mean, I don't see any science in all this gravity crap. Okay. So when, when you come to Flat Earth, you quickly come to realize that gravity is, is a very integral part of the heliocentrist illusion matrix whatever you want to call it it's it's what keeps their ball theory spinning if you will <laughs> pun intended so without gravity they don't have any of the other stuff everything falls apart everyone starts to question everything if if gravity doesn't exist the way we're taught so the really didn't dodge that ball you know, as well as they could have. But, I mean, that goes with pathological liars. They're just going to cover it up with another lie. And at this point, it's just going to make it easier for us to detect the deceit. And I wanted to actually point everyone to another article that's actually a pretty interesting article called A, Sci a Scientist Takes on Gravity. And I'm not going to read anything, I'll put the link in the description box, but he he says it's thermodynamics. And I mean, that's an interesting, 
that has a lot to do with density and, and mass and buoyancy as well, which are the, the laws we know create the ups and the downs. Not gravity, because the centrifugal and centripetal forces, it doesn't, nothing they say makes sense. Just like that meme with the tennis ball circling and the water is just flying off it in spirals, like a small scale experiment like that to like planet size but it it's it's very scientific people want to laugh but soaking a tennis ball in water and projecting it out in a spiral motion to see what the water does is actually more scientific than this LIGO two and a half mile hitting a mirror, bouncing back the wave, even though, you know, like Jesse Spots pointed out, where's the curvature for that two and a half miles back forth? I mean, we're just calling them out. It doesn't even take a day. It doesn't, you know, the minute this news comes out, it's, it's squashed. And that, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It fills me with hope. And just love and compassion for everybody out there watching this video, you know, watching other videos, making videos, you know, reading articles, doing experiments, spreading all that information around. We're doing great, guys. I didn't want to drag this video on too long, so uh, if you liked my video, please like, comment, share, subscribe. Thanks for hanging out, guys, and I'll uh, catch you on the next The Pulse Philly Filmer.